non-dairy water. Dairy water? Vegan dairy water. Brown vegan dairy water. Hello, my name is Rachel and I am so excited because today my friends and I are gonna be trying out some lab-grown dairy for the first time. So Merle and I are plant-based and Alex and Spencer are both lactose intolerant. So we're gonna be able to give you a variety of perspectives and opinions when trying out these products. So the company Perfect Day makes an animal-free dairy protein and they've partnered with other brands who have produced a variety of products such as ice cream, milk, chocolate, and cream cheese. By putting microflora through a fermentation process, they are able to produce proteins that are identical to milk protein, but there's absolutely no animal involved in this process. So that means they are also completely vegan and animal free. If you have a milk protein allergy, then you should not consume these products. But if you're lactose intolerant, then these products are great because they're completely lactose free. So we're gonna taste test a bunch of products and see how similar this is to dairy. I feel like it's gonna be the closest we've had to mimicking dairy flavor. I don't know if it's gonna be perfect though. I am all aboard the lab-grown meat train, lab-grown dairy choo. train. I'm excited to try it. When I do eat cheese. I know, how bad is it? A little bit of a rumble in my tumble, but I'll eat it anyway. You know what I'm saying? I will not sacrifice it because it tastes so damn good. Yeah. But later on, I am regretting it. Here we have some plant-based non-dairy cream cheese. And then we have our lab-grown dairy cream cheeses. One is chive and one is harissa flavored. Mm. And Modern Kitchen sent us this cream cheese for free. All right, let's try the non-dairy one first. The schmear is good on this one. A little heavy on the tartness. A little tangy tangy. Why is the texture like that? It tastes like the Miyoko's mozzarella in a schmear. I do love that word. <laughs> I do love that word. You're like, I don't get a lot of opportunities to use it. <laughs> mm, maximize. Are you getting sour? This feels like sour hummus. <laughs> It's okay. I think the Kite Hill one might be a little better in my opinion, actually. Yeah, I agree with that. It's the thought that I have in my head of what cream cheese should taste like, and this is that, but with like four limes in it. Okay, are you ready? Oh my God, I'm you sorry. scared me. I haven't had dairy in like over eight years. <laughs> Your belly's about to blow. Holy <laughs> This is cream cheese. I like this. This is more like what I'm used to. This is up my alley. It feels like we're like legit eating cream cheese. It's so good. It tastes delicious. The texture's there. I'd eat it with a spoon. It has like essence of cow mm -hmm. on it. I know what you mean though. My brain is tweaking out right now. I feel like the texture is a little bit different. Not by much. But I feel like it's grainier just like a, a little tiny little bit. bit. This tastes exactly what I remember cream cheese tasting like. And it's good. <laughs> this gets a one because if I was in dire straits and I needed to eat something and it called for a spread, sure. But other than that, no thank you. I would say a three. If you do have a milk protein allergy, you can't eat the other ones. It is not terrible, but compared to the other ones, this is just lacking. I would rate that 6.5. It'll do in a pinch, but it's super sour. I'm gonna give this a 6.5 out of 10. I'm not copying Merle. <laughs> just what you I feel. Those get a... Nine out of 10 for me. If regular cream cheese for me is always a 10, that's a nine. The cows are my besties, nine out of 10. I am gonna give it a 9.5, only because I do remember having other cream cheeses in the past that were like a little more fluffy. Um, I genuinely don't think it could get any better. Next, we are going to try animal-free chocolate milk. This is some chocolate oat milk for comparison. Okay. We're gonna go in with the oat milk first. Cheers, guys. Mm. This is really good. I'm into it, to be honest. Ooh, there's a little bit of a coating, you know? It just feels like, I feel safe. I kind of thought that this oat milk would be better because I really like oat milk. It's kind of chalky. I never liked milk, like, by itself. I'm scared about this one, and I'm still not convinced any of this stuff is not actually milk because I don't understand. Merle thinks it. I'm trying to cancel her. I don't know how to describe how it tastes. That is unnerving for me. It's like a malted milk ball. It feels like it's spoiled chocolate milk. I wouldn't give it spoiled. I would give it 
There's like a tart. There's like a yeah, tart. It's weird. To it. It's got this weird like aftertaste, almost like fermented. The oat milk <laughs> is giving whole milk thick. This is giving mm, like skim milk, dairy water. It's no go. The oat milk, that's a 10. That's a 10 out of 10. 10. I'm gonna give this a six out of 10. It just had a little bit of a weird chocolate aftertaste. I agree with you. I'm also gonna give it a six. I am copying Rachel. I think it's a one. That's a one. I don't think I could ever drink it again. I'm gonna give this like a one. Oh my God. Maybe like a two, two. That's my final answer. I'm gonna give this a three. Compared to the cream cheese, this is like yeah. not bringing the dairy. No, not at all. It's time for ice cream. Do you know how long I've been waiting for this moment? <laughs> I can tell by how tightly your fists are clenched. So first we're gonna try some good old Ben and Jerry's non-dairy. This is just like a cookie dough flavor. The texture looks pretty good on this. It's lacking. Hmm. Not my favorite. If this didn't have cookie dough in it, I wouldn't still be eating it. I would say in terms of like the texture of this, it's really good. I just think it's like a little bit too sweet. I can like taste the almond milk, I almost feel like. We love almond milk. I'm not sure how much I would like to eat an ice cream form though. Lab grown ice cream, you say? I'm excited, vanilla and cookies. Wow, this looks wow. like ice cream. So many things are happening to your face. Whoa. To me, this just tastes like ice cream. It's delicious. I like that. I haven't had that milky taste in so long. Mm -hmm. That is really spot on. I just don't know why this is like already melted. Like it's gone. This is the best, closest to like real vanilla ice cream that I've ever had. But as soon as you put it in your mouth, it's like Houdini, it's just gone. It's gone. But while it was in my mouth, I liked it. It doesn't have enough body to it. It doesn't have enough structure. I guess we love runny ice cream. Give it to me. Give me more. Wow. Just here for a good time, not a long time. I'm gonna give the Ben and Jerry's, I'll give it like a 6.8. It's close to a seven, but it's, I can't quite give it a seven. I'm gonna give it a seven. Ben, Jer, <laughs> can't do it. I'm gonna give that like a four. I don't think it deserves that much. Really? I would give this like a 2.5 or three. And then the soup. I'm gonna have to give it like 4.5, just for the experience. I mean, it's literally a bowl of soup. I'm gonna give this one a six. No other non-dairy ice cream has been able to replicate that milky taste the way this has been able to. That being said, melts way too fast. I'm gonna up it to a 5.5, final. Yeah. When I first ate it, I was like, damn, this tastes like ice cream. It just didn't last long. That lab room's gonna get a nine out of 10 for me. If 10 is like the ice cream that I know and love, the lab grown is a nine. I agree. With I'm with you on that. I would say 9.5. Okay. Last but not least, <laughs> some animal free dairy chocolate. First, we're gonna try a standard dark chocolate that we would eat because we can't have milk chocolate. Hmm. It's just bitter. It'd be great melted over some strawberries. I like you. I'm a dark chocolate kind of gal, but there's something going on in this one. Why is it salty? I'm into it. This looks like real milk chocolate. Oops, I didn't cheer okay. you. No, that's fake. Doesn't taste like milk chocolate, totally. <laughs> I don't know. You know how sometimes- I almost choked. <laughs> Once you let it set up a campfire in your mouth for a little while, the milkiness comes through. I don't know if it's because I'm so used to eating dark chocolate nowadays, but this tastes too sweet to me. Like it feels like it's itching my throat. I found that I am allergic to milk today. I actually will say this is pretty good. The first initial bite was a little bit unsettling, but always a good sign. <laughs> I am not a fan. I'm getting major, major milk aftertaste. Me too. So me too. that's good. As dark chocolates go for me, I'm gonna give it an eight. I feel like this is a good 7.5. I'm gonna give this an 8.5 out of 10 because I maybe have had a better dark chocolate than this. I'll give it a six. If you like dark chocolate, you'll be very happy. I almost died with this one, so. I know. We're doing like a two. Taking out the death part, I feel like the taste wasn't there. I'm gonna give it a five. It does taste like milk chocolate and it has the same kind of like sugary graininess that like a milk chocolate sometimes has. I'm gonna give it a 7.5. I just think it has a weird aftertaste, but that milkiness is undeniable. I actually am going to once again agree with you. I think I'm gonna give this a 7.5. I like it a lot more than I like this dark chocolate. In a pinch, melted down, I think she'd be golden.
We were 50% into lab-grown dairy. Yeah, I'm into it. I'm excited to see what is gonna happen Flavor. in the future and the flavors. I also don't eat dairy for my health, so I don't know how much I wanna be introducing like milk protein back into my diet anyway. It's fair. My stomach feels weird, but it's not at the level of like having oh. pizza. Does it feel like you could trust a fart right now? Yeah. If I had been eating cheese during this entire time, I would feel it right by now. But I don't feel like that at all. I feel light as a feather. The vegan industry has been going strong for a while now, and lab-grown dairy is just on the precipice. So it's yeah. only gonna get better. For the first ever products that are lab-grown dairy, yeah. these are pretty spectacular. Go try it yourself and let us know what you think in the comments down below.